SIU's football season came to an end last night in heartbreaking fashion. The dogs battled the number one seeded South Dakota State until the very end. This game certainly nothing like the 41 point blowout earlier this year when the two teams met in the regular season. Now when I look at this Saluki season and this final game, I see a team that battled through every obstacle thrown their way. A team that found a way to win no matter what. Players stepping up in unbelievable way, bullet ways to bring the dogs as far as they came. Jacob Garrett, a guy with two broken hands who literally made a catch to score a touchdown in the Southeastern Louisiana game. That win landing SIU a spot in the playoffs. The special teams trick play faked a kick, threw it to a wide open Cole Stewart, who wasn't even able to fly with the team to the game because he had a false positive COVID test. To Xavion Furcron, the offensive guard who barreled in for a touchdown in the quarterfinals to keep the Salukis in the contest. This team is holding their heads high and sports director Jason Hurst traveled to Brookings, South Dakota and joins us with more on this unique season. We've all heard the old adage, what doesn't break you makes you stronger. And that certainly describes SIU football. They went through a lot this spring. They went through COVID-19 protocols. They had limited practices for week one due to a snowstorm. They battled injuries. They were down to their third string quarterback. Then they had teams opt out, had to find new opponents, and it took the last weekend just to get into the playoffs as an at-large bid. And last night, they had the number one seeded team in the playoffs on the ropes. Coach Hill couldn't be more proud of this team. We've played 10 games, nine of them against ranked teams. We've played five top five teams. We've played the number one team um, three times uh, or twice now, North Dakota State, South Dakota State. Weber was ranked number one at times, unbeaten. These guys don't flinch. And we are physical as hell. I, I think, I mean, we're not a team you want to play. We're not a team you want to play. Um, up front, man, man, we, uh, we bring it. Defensively, dudes like Jordan Burner, man, we got dogs, dude. I think we're big fish. We're here to stay. We have a ton of fifth-year seniors that are coming back. We'll probably have the most sixth-year seniors out of I, I don't know who would have more, but we're going to have, you know, 12 or 13 six-year seniors coming back to play next year. All our guys are fired up. I think those guys are hungry as well as me, and uh, we just want to get back at the get back out there as quick as possible. I don't think any of us want to go on vacation, or not vacation, but home on break. Man, we want to come back and get to work. As you heard from the Salukis, they're not going to shy away from anyone. In fact, they believe Everyone's got them on the radar because they are not a team to sleep on, and they think this fall could be very special. Reporting from South Dakota, Jason Hurst, News 3 Sports.